Let's talk about links. Well, what is a link? Well, let me go to my trusty Windows virtual machine here. You guys are used to links, but you call them in Windows, they are called shortcuts. Usually you use shortcuts on your desktop. For instance, if I want to use the awesome Microsoft Edge browser, I just double click on it right here and it opens up, right? And there we go. Can't I just close you now? Setup is complete. Yeah, obviously I haven't ever used it yet. All right. Now you guys, you know it's a shortcut because it has this little arrow right here by it, right? If I delete this, does that actually delete Microsoft Edge from off my system? Oh no, I deleted it. I can't use Microsoft Edge anymore. I deleted it from my whole system. No, I just deleted a shortcut because the program is actually not right here on my desktop. The program is buried somewhere. It's in the C drive, program files, uh, Microsoft, Edge, application. Oh, there it is. I think this is it right here. And I think if I click on that, ah, good, I have it back. But now every time I have to start it up, I have to navigate to it here. Well, that's a pain, right? Why don't I just drag it out here and create a shortcut? And now I don't have to navigate there anymore. And now I have my shortcut, right? And that's what a shortcut is. Now we can do this with other things as well, right? I don't know if I have anything on this virtual machine. <laughs> nope, apparently not. Um, I can create a document here. Okay. Right. So I have this text document. I can create a shortcut with that as well, right here. So it's easier to get to here. Right. I can I can do a shortcut here, and it doesn't always have to be on the desktop. Right. I mean, if for some reason I wanted to, um, I could put the shortcut. I don't know how you do it here on Windows. Like, can I just do that? Okay. Yeah. So here's downloads, and here's the shortcut. And it's not that the document's really here in downloads, it's really here, but this is just a shortcut to it here, right? Um, that's what it is. So um, you can do it any way you want, what's best for you. I mean, obviously the desktop is kind of the place you're at the most and it's easy and convenient, right? That's why we built shortcuts there. Now, on a terminal, how do we build those shortcuts? And in Linux, we don't call them shortcuts. We call them links because they're linked to something else, somewhere else. And we have two types of them. We have something called a symbolic or soft link, and we have something called a hard link. In Windows, I don't think a hard link exists. It may be, and someone can correct me if you do, I'm not a Windows expert. So um, if you know of something that's equivalent to it when I talk about it, let me know. But a soft link is just like a shortcut in Windows. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate that a few times. So I have file three here. You guys don't see my mistake. So it requires this full path, at least to be safe. I think that there's a way to do it uh, shortened, but obviously I can't figure it out here. Um, so that's how you build the symbolic link. So it's ln s. What are you trying to link? And then where are you trying to link it to? Right um, now, what I do want to show you here is the ls l command. If we're going to look at this file three, I'm going to show you. So I'm doing the ls command again to my home directory, and I'm only because my home directory has a bunch of stuff in it. I only want to show you my one link, right? File. That's why I'm giving you this path. Notice here that this starts with an L which means it's a link and it gives you, this is the link and then it has this pointer, which means it's really connected to this file right here, right? Showing you that it is a link. So whatever I want to do here now, like I can do echo hello 
right? Which just puts it on the screen. And in a few weeks here, you'll learn about redirection, what I'm doing here is I'm going to put this to the file three file, which means I'm going to put hello into this file here, which is pretty cool. Watch. So if I just do cat file three, there's nothing inside the cat file or in the file three. So if I open up Vim, it's, it's empty, right? But if I do echo, hello, I could put it in this file three, and now I can do cat file three. And the word hello is in there now. See, hello. Okay. Now, if I go to my shortcut, it should be here on my desktop. There's my shortcut, right? I should dash L. Here's my shortcut. If I look at what's in that shortcut, I should see hello as well, right? It's just a shortcut. I'm in my home directory here. Here I'm in my temp folder. Here's the actual file. Here it is here. Let me show it in a GUI. So you guys can, so here's my temp. Here's my file three. If I click on that, see how it says hello in it? Right? If I go back up and I find the shortcut, look at the shortcut here. It does have an arrow, similar kind of like it is in Windows, but it's the shortcut link. Click on that. It says hello as well, right? Because it's the same, right? If I go in and I change it here, I can, I'll change it in a GUI and I put good bye and I save it. I should be able to go back to my shortcut and it says goodbye as well, right? No, we're not learning anything to create. I'm trying to see if I can make the text bigger on here, but I can't, sorry. But I can do it here. See, it says goodbye. Same thing on the command line, right? That is a soft link, okay? Now, what I do wanna show you too is this. There's another LS option here dash I, which shows us the inode. And what an inode is, it's similar to um, kind of like a, a sector index on your hard drive. It's like the actual location on the hard drive. Like when, when your hard drive saves files, it index them in certain locations and it gives them a number. That's what this inode number is, okay? So you see that this has this number here, right? And if I do the same thing, it's in my temp folder for file three, not, um, oops, yeah, I want I here. So here's the actual file and here is the link, right? And here's the actual file. Notice these are different numbers. The shortcut is its own file, right? Because it's someplace else. But it has a different location number on the hard drive, an inode number. And the file three has a different inode number, right? Because they're in two different places, but one is pointing to the other, right? The shortcut is pointing to that. This becomes important with what a hard link is, okay? So what a hard link is, is it is adding a second name to the same file. What? Yeah, and this is where I, I go, I don't think you have this concept in Windows that I can compare it to. So I can give this file three another second name and it works and it's and it linked to it, but it's named something else. It's not a shortcut like this one is, it is actually the same file on the same location with the same name. Let me show you how this works. Okay. So you use the LN command, right? And then 
Um, it's what do you want to link to? I guess I have to do the whole file three. Then I'm going to put this on my desktop as well. But I'm going to call it file three hard because it's a hard link. Hard link. I'll do hard link. Okay. Now, let me go back to my desktop here and um, long list file three star. We haven't talked about this yet, but anyway, you guys will learn about that soon. So what I'm doing is I'm listing my soft link, my shortcut here, which has a pointer, but now I created this other link, this hard link, but it's not pointing to anything, right? What, what's in that file? Oh, it's that hello, goodbye. It's the same thing that was in the other one. What is in, um, oh, hello, goodbye, the shortcut, right? What's in the original file? All the same, right? Now let's look at the inode here. Remember the location? Okay, so the link is on this location. The hard link is on this location. And the original, what do you notice the same? The original, has the same location on the hard drive where it actually is on the hard drive. And the hard link is the same exact file on the hard drive because it has the exact location index, inode. Because it is the same file. It's just, I have two names for the same file where this one is not the same. It is literally a shortcut that then points you and redirects you to this here. Let me show you how this is important, okay? Hopefully I'll wrap this up in the next five minutes here because I know it's been long. I really apologize for how long this has been because um, <clears throat> I know your brain starts melting after a while. So if we look at this here, what I'm going to do is what would happen if I deleted the original file and I tried to access the shortcut? Well, let's test it out. Right? Right now I can do cat file three. There's my shortcut and it tells it to me. The computer burst into flames. Well, maybe let's test it out. Um, cat uh, file three, hard link. Yep, all the same. Cat temp file three, all the same. I'm going to delete temp file three. That is the original file. That's where everything linked to. Let me go up and look at what's on the link. Oh, doesn't exist anymore. Let me see if the, well, the original we know is gone, right? does not exist. Let's see if I cat it. File three link, nothing there. What if I do this? Now it's blinking, <laughs> look at that. Why is it blinking? Because it's a link, here's the shortcut, but what the shortcut is pointing to doesn't exist anymore. We just showed that right here. There is no such file or directory. It doesn't exist. Let's look at our hard link. It's there. How is the hard, why, why is the information on the hard link still there? Because it's, it was the same original file. We had two names for it. We just deleted one. So that's one of the difference between a shortcut and see, because the, 
this link is linked to where the original one was. Now I can relink this shortcut, this soft link, back to this hard link if I wanted to, and then we wouldn't have this blinking error, right? That's there. I mean, we can do this graphically too, right? If I'm on canal right here, here's my link three. Uh, it's blank, it takes me to nothing. There's nothing there. I don't get the error though, like I do on the command line. So are hard links essentially used mostly for backups? They can be used for backups. Um, yeah, but they're not really truly a backup, but it, it, um, because yeah, you're not wasting any double space, right? A backup is an actual copy of another thing at another location where this isn't a copy it's the actual file. You're just linking it somewhere else. You're giving it two paths, right? And so if one path gets deleted, well, you have the other path to get to it, right? Um, because it goes to the same place on the hard drive. So yeah, you can use, it's kind of like a, yeah, a cheap way, I guess, to not use up resources or extra space. Um, now, hard links do not work though over um, different partitions or uh, drives. So in that way you can't use it. So if your drive crashes, it, it's gone, right? Um, I'm gonna stop that blinking because it's annoying to me. <laughs> All I do is just delete it and then I'll clear the window here and that. So anyway, that's links. I know I kind of went through that quickly. Um, let, let me see here. I can. Let me create another link because what, what can happen is, is I should be able to edit any of those files and they should be able to write to that same file. Yeah, I can edit the shortcut if the shortcut was still working and it would change the original file and the hard file should all have the same changes, right? Um, I should be able to edit the hard file and it, everything should be able to see the changes if I had all three set up again. Um, if I deleted something, um, you know, the, those changes would be affected. The, the problem is, is with that shortcut, it is absolutely tied to what you originally link it to. And if that gets deleted, the shortcut doesn't work anymore and it's gone. But to a hard link, it does not. So kind of just remembering those two principles between the two, that's, that's kind of what you need to get out of all of this. So that is hard and soft links. 